Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, the TLDR of the situation is my old computer, as you guys may or may not know, was overheating. It was like 95 degrees Celsius CPU, like 30 minutes after turning it on. So I wasn't able to stream. I was barely able to upload YouTube videos. So basically, I had like four YouTube videos, the last four that went up, that were ready to be uploaded. But I couldn't stream for risk of overheating my computer completely and me like melting it or whatever would happen and never or just having it shut off and not ever being able to upload those videos. So, bought a new computer. Well, the new computer came and it's a much better computer, obviously. It's newer. It's two year, two and a half years newer. Um, got like an i9 processor and uh, I think it's a 3080 or something. GPU, I'm not sure, I can't remember exact specs, I should, but um, I posted them on Twitter at one point, I think. But anyway, I can't fit my Elgato HD60 because it goes right into the motherboard. It doesn't fit because there's cords between the GPU and the motherboard and a bunch of stuff that just isn't feasible for it to actually go inside my computer. So... Yeah, because the GPU is huge. It's way bigger than my GPU, my old one. And the case is wide instead of tall, so I think that did something too compared to my old one. Um, so I need a new desk as well at some point because I can't even put it in like the little area the PC is supposed to go because it is too thick for that part. So more or less, new PC is good. It runs good. Had to buy a new capture card, so I had to save up some money for that, or I just put it on my credit card and then I worked some overtime, so by the time it comes out, I'll have the money. Because uh, I already worked the overtime, and I already knew I was going to, but I just didn't have the mo overtime money at that exact point. So, all of that is fine. The last week I had the new PC, but couldn't stream because I didn't have a capture card that could fit. The week before that, I didn't have a PC that could stream, so it's been two, three weeks since I've streamed. Which means it's also been 10 days, I think, since my last YouTube video, which sucks because I went like, I think it was like two months or like a month and a half of uploading a video, at least one video every day. So now, long story short, everything is good. I keep saying that. I've said that like a bunch of times. It was supposed to be a short story and now we're two minutes into it. But um, streams can continue. I have everything all set up now. I can, can record from my PC. Last week I could have streamed from my PC, but also Gotham Knights came out and I platinumed that game. Um, it was alright. And then this week, God of War came out. You can see good old Gotham Knights got the Platinum. Good game. Not good game, actually. The game's fucking terrible. Um, quick sidebar on that topic before we go. Game is pretty good. For the first 10 hours. Like, the opening scene, the opening cutscene, 10 out of 10, great game. Oh, after that... Once you get to like the over, like lower le or higher levels, everything's a damage sponge. You're hitting it like 57 times every enemy. And I know the Arkham games had like enemies that you had to hit specific ways. And every game has that where it's like you can't do certain attacks to them. But these were locked behind like abilities that you had to build up meters to get. So it was just like, I don't know. It was not a fun game at the end. If it was Arkham Combat, the story was decent enough it was kind of predictable but the story had me interested for a while and then it kind of fell off towards the end but like it was all right and the first like 20 hours i'd say i had a good like seven and a half out of ten time a little bit if you're going to compare it because it's compared to the arkham games i'd say it's a little worse than arkham origins which is the worst arkham game but i still really enjoy arkham origins it's a solid eight eight and a half for me out of ten so this game was a solid like seven and a half, just a little bit less, a little bit less responsive. The combat was a little bit less fun. If it could have been Arkham Combat, it probably would have been on par with Origins, um, but maybe less because I don't like the characters as much as Batman. But it'd be like up there. It'd still be less, but like you know. But anyway, and then now God of War Ragnarok came out, and I've played like five hours into that game, and that game is mwah, Chef's Kiss. That game is just great and anybody who thought any it was going to be anything other than that after the 2018 version which we might play on stream at some point after the witcher it's the on my list of games we'll play after the witcher <laughs> but like that game is just chef's kiss so far i mean again it's only five hours in and i said arkham origin or arco or gotham knights was good but 
Anyway, so sorry guys, that's a TLDR. I went on a tangent there. That's a TLDR of why we haven't played Witcher 3 in a while. And then I streamed earlier and I was just still irritated because I thought my new capture card wasn't going to be able to. Because basically what happens is when I stream, I listen to the audio from the capture card. And when it's plugged into the motherboard, it's like one to one. Like when I press a button, like the audio is like synced. It's perfect. But since it's an external capture card, the Elgato HD60S that I had before the HD60, it is also supposed to be perfect synced. It would, it would unsync every once in a while and it was a little annoying, but it was still a good capture card and it was still, the, bit, the audio was good. While well, it was like the HD60X, which is what I bought, will be the same. Um, it'll be, you know, audio is good and it was supposed to be audio one to one. But when I was going to stream earlier, after I set it up, it'd be like push down and like this little click. It'd be like click, 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 click. And it was like, I, I can't play that because I have to have the audio that I'm listening to from the capture card to go into my ears to hear. And I can't, I can't play it with that delayed audio. So I tried to stream League because it was the end of the ranked season and do some Arkham stuff, but I was just in a bad frame of mind because I was like, I, the HD60X was like $200, 200 well, I got $30 off because I had rewards points on my credit card, so I did get 32 bucks off from buying gas and stuff because that's basically all I use my credit card for. So I got $32 off, $32 off of it, so it was like $189, plus I just bought a $2,500 computer. So it was like, fuck, man, like it was just like... I was not in a good headspace. I was irritated, so my stream earlier was terrible. But the plan, last thing before we start playing again, the plan is still to stream both days of my days off. Maybe not because Ragnarok is out right now, and I know there's and then there's Evil West coming out soon, but like all these good games are coming out. But the plan is to still do speedruns on Sunday nights, Monday mornings, and then do Witcher or whatever game we're let's playing on Monday nights, Tuesday mornings it's right in that like midnightish hour time when I normally stream so that's still the plan going forward this the speed run stream will be the one that doesn't happen if I don't stream one of those days because as much as I love speed running I like let's playing more so yeah that's about it I realized I didn't tweet that I was streaming so I guess I'll just do that from my phone real quick now that I'm recording for actually I'll just type it it'll take less time now that I'm recording from already for YouTube, you gotta tweet that you're streaming. doing slashes when I want to do dot. I also have this really bad habit of holding the, the caps button down for too long so it'll be like continuing I'm typing that and it's like C and O are both capitalized instead of just the T when it's a new sentence. I love keyboard sounds. <laughs> That's why I bought this particular keyboard because it made wonderful sounds. Uh, no, I don't use cap locks, but just when I hit the when I hit the shift, I like have a bad habit of like holding it. So because uh, I type faster than my pinky lets off, so I'll do co before I let go of the the shift key because I'm an idiot. But all right, so well, I wanted to leave this all in. So basically, the last time we played, we failed a mission that pissed me the fuck off. I hate that shit. And then we get to start off with Siri story as we uh, as we learn from. Uh, from what you call it junior he's telling us what happened with siri before we met up with him and all that fun stuff when we were gonna go beat him up i feel like i'm still having a little bit of issues with my green screen over here like to the left of me oops yeah there is a little bit of an issue but we will fix that that's the other thing i had to reset everything for obs so it's just been a lot of fucking just resetting everything so I kind of got to figure out some more stuff for all that. If I just tilt this that way. I kind of made it worse. Whatever, we'll just deal with it and then 
will get better for next week when I have more time to fix it. But yeah, so basically we're doing Siri's story as told by Junior, so we have control of Siri and Dandelion and all that, or with Dandelion. So let's go ahead and get on into that, and I'll do a little update for us too, so all that fun stuff. Let's go. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream in it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. So it's probably going to be a short stream today, too. Um, but yeah, so we failed a quest last time. That pisses me off, and we've got a lot of extra stuff to do now. But um, I didn't want to fail any quests in this in this playthrough, but oh well, it happens. All right, so we got to get to the roof. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. What the heck? Alright. Oh, this game has the dreaded white paint as well. I didn't think I'd never seen it in this game, I don't think. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Alright, let's get on the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. Here we go, we found our balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. Wait, did we? Is this not the balcony? Did I fall off too early? Oh, okay, we're supposed to open the window. Oh, okay. Whew. I thought I fell off too early for a second. I was worried for a second there. And now, my dear Dodo. I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. Also, how's the audio? So Hope it's good. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Oh no, we didn't actually grab our sword. <laughs> hold R2 to launch a surprise attack on up to five enemies. The longer you hold the button, the greater your area of effect will be. Okay. Each time Siri uses her powers, her energy declines. That must be the thing with the little exclamation point. Game's a little bit louder than it was before. Okay, wonderful. I can certainly fix that. It's exactly the type of feedback I was looking for. Turn it down a little bit. Let me know how it is. Um, some energy is restored every time you attack a foe. You will gain access to Siri's special ability once your energy has increased to the required level. Hey, why are you calling her a whore? That's not nice. That's, I think we gotta like dodge through and then come back. There we go. Can you say something other than where is Ruben's treasure? There we go. We fucked him up. There we go, Siri. Let's get it. Thanks, Sev. Uh, they're coming. Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore. Get that whore, he says. God damn. All right. Let's get it, Siri. That's it, you're in for it. On with it. Grab the cut. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like playing as Siri, dude. 
What a creative use of swear words, exactly. Siri is so very hard to play as. Like, especially in this confined space, on this difficulty where you don't have all your abilities that you're used to as Geralt. Like, she's supposed to be this all-powerful person, but I just held up that, like, R2 ability that's supposed to be, like, this special ability for quite a while there. And it did not do shit for damage. So, yeah, you get used to playing as Geralt. Um, because you don't have any of your, like, blocking ability. Or, I mean, I'm sure you can parry. I guess I should try more of that, maybe. But you don't have, like, your magic signs. So, basically, you just hit people, and then your dashes dash you so far away from the enemy like Geralt just does like a sidestep like his roll obviously does a little bit more distance but it's like a you, you get yourself out of range of hitting people I don't know why I'm doing like doing it in my chair over here but like you just like like with Geralt there like it is easy for like easier for getting like behind people so you can do like that move and it's easier for re-maneuvering but you don't have like your your signs like Igni and like all that stuff for like crowd control and such. So basically you just have to dash and like through them and then go behind them. And they block a lot more for attacks than they do Geralt. But you can re reposition so in like a bigger area it's actually not that bad. It's just, I don't know why I'm looting. I don't think we need to loot. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point looting. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, in a, in a bigger area it's less cumbersome. And there's no healing. That's the other thing. Like, there's no, you don't have any items. You can't heal at all. So like it plays, and then like the thing is, is like it plays her as she's like this more powerful character, but she's not. Like in the game. So it's like, I don't know. Like she does have these more powerful abilities with her with her elder blood and all that stuff, but like, I don't know. It's just something you gotta get used to, especially in a building. Like, maybe I need to be trying to parry more, but I don't even know if she can parry. That's the thing, and I don't want to risk it. Because, like, if you miss, <laughs> then you just die and you can't heal. You can't take those risks like you can with Geralt. Unless I'm just supposed to be running, then. If I'm just supposed to be running, or if I'm supposed to be actually killing these people. Because I'm just supposed to run. I'll just run past everybody. I don't give a fuck. I'll run. But... I know, right? You're, true, I am already dying. I do think if you don't get hit for a while, she does regenerate her health. It does look like she's regenerating health there, so maybe I just need to play that better. Okay, so looting is pointless, so let's keep going. I, just, I feel like it just throws me off my comfort. Maybe she is stronger, but like, I just am not off the com or I'm off the comfort of playing as Geralt. Cause like with these people where you're like surrounded. It says escape, so let's get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, you can. So you can just dash around, I guess. So I thought, how am I supposed to leave, though? It wouldn't let me leave the door. What? Earlier? Okay. So I guess we escaped. I don't know if it's a full escape, but we escaped there at least. But yeah, so I'm just playing badly as her just because I'm off my comfort. Because Garrett, you, you, you get like a specific way you play the game. That's why it was kind of hard when I was using. Oh, there we go. Tell you truth. So what happened to Dudu? Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. All right, what happened to her then? 
What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Oh. What else then, my man? Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserve. Have mercy. Please. No. Let me tell you where things stand. No mercy. I'm looking for this woman because she's like a daughter to me. Mm-hmm. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Oh, well, and look at all of these people that you murdered. These girls that just come to your, that get sent to your hideout. As this camera is doing this weird type of something. As you just hang these people. Like, go fuck yourself. I'm glad that you're dead. And, yeah. Yeah. Why is the camera doing this like, like we're like drunk, it's like in and out kind of thing. There we go, now it's done. That was really weird. But yeah, you basically tried to kill Siri, so you can go fuck yourself. I have a right to defend myself. Yeah, I don't care. But anyways, I do know the other thing that we have is a bunch of character bios and stuff like that that we need to read. So... It is time to get to that real quick. Reading is fun. Dudu Bilberveld. Geralt and I had known the Doppler, Doppler Dudu for years from the moment we actually had met him, in fact. From before the moment we had actually met him, in fact. You see, we first unwillingly talked to him when we when he was in Novigrad impersonating another friend of mine, a halfling merchant named Dainty Bilberveld. Dudu had assumed Dainty's form... Uh, to use a merchant's network of contacts for some business endeavors of his own, Dante was infuriated at first at his inability to locate the imposter who had inserted himself into his dealings, but when Dudu's investments began generating sizable returns, the halfling changed his tunes. He took the Doppler on as a partner, introducing him to everyone as his cousin, Dudu Bieberveld, or however you pronounce that. Geralt learned that Dudu had crossed horse on Junior, one of Novigrad's most ruthless crime bosses, that Dudu extracted himself from this predicament while only losing one eye should be considered a fortunate turn. Yeah. Then Ellie Hall. Uh, Geralt Ronis inter interpreted one of my notes to mean that Ellie Hall and I had been a couple. Alas, while anyone would be thrilled to count this outstanding elf, wonderful conversation partner and superb tailor among his conquests. In fact, no more than friendship and fine wine had ever passed between us. Geralt found this out when he visited Ellie Hall's tailor shop, where he had got a first-hand glimpse at the elf's unusual hobby, adopting the dress and mannerisms of those different from himself in race, sex, and social status. Priscilla. As a poet and a romantic, I have immortalized in flowery verse the charms both both corporeal and spiritual of many women, yet where I, when I opened my mouth to sing the praises of Priscilla, I found, hard as this may be to conceive, that my throat constricts, words turn to meal in my mouth, and all elaborate turns of speech seem artificial and empty when compared to the natural beauty, talent, sensitivity, and intellect nature... Intel, intellect? Yeah, intellect nature has bestowed her. Aww. Dandelions in love. Priscilla, or Calanetta, on stage under which she gained artistic renown, was, around the time of our story beginning, enjoying the last stop on a triumphant tour of concerts that had taken her from the sumptuous courts of Lan Exter, Exter and Pont Vanis through Tredegor and Kayat Kalf. I don't know how to pronounce all these words. Uh, finally bringing her to the glorious city of Novigrad. Radovid V the Stern. It did not take long for King Radovid of Redania to prove himself a hard and ruthless leader, a ruler, one fully deserving to be styled the Stern. His father, King Vizimir, was murdered when Radovid was quite young, and his mother, Hedwig of Maleor, and a regency council ruled in his stead. Young Radovid soon seized power in his own right, however, and wrought vengeance on those who had treated him with disrespect. He took to forging or forcing all his potential political opponents to swear allegiance or face death. He waged war not only against Nilfgaard, but against mages whom he saw as the root of all evil. Radovid had made every effort to gain control of the free city of Novigrad, whose fleet and treasury could tip the scales of the ongoing conflict in his favor. Geralt's meeting with Radovid confirmed the rumors circulating about the king's mental state. The Redanian monarch was a dangerous madman trapped in a, his own world of disturbing visions. This did not make him one jot less intelligent or cunning, however. Despite his mental afflictions, the young king was manipulating his opponents with a, like a highly skilled puppet master. Vernon Roche, as commander of the Temerian Special Forces and Elite Squadron known as the Blue Stripes, 
Werner Roach had been one of King Fota's most trusted subordinates. Time and time again, Roach had proved himself loyal, effective, and a thorough professional. Few could match his skill at subduing rev- revolts and fighting off no guardians or snuffing out bands of Scoyatel. At the start of our story, however, he had lost his king, his men, and his homeland, and so had resorted to waging a guerrilla war against the overwhelming occupying forces. In his war of assassinations, ambushes, and night raids, Roche depended on Redanian help, though it was clear he took no pleasure from working with Radovid. And lastly, Horson Jr. Cyprian Wiley, the younger, was the younger was one of Novigrad's most excuse me, dangerous criminals. He had inherited his father's casinos, fighting ring, and brothels, as well as the old man's statistic tendencies, ruthlessness, and lack of scruples. These traits had made the moniker Horson something of a family heirloom, and his for his powerful criminal clan. Cyprian had also taken his father in terms in took after his father in terms of ambition. He broke the unwritten armistice between Novigrad's various criminal groups and tried to murder the one, the other three leading underwater or underworld <laughs> underwater underworld bosses. Horson's audacity had a very specific cause, King Radovid, who had commissioned the gangster's actions. As it turned out, Radovid's plan for Horson was to start a gang war in Novigrad and the resulting chaos, Radovid would take control of the city with ease. While searching for Cyprian's home, Den of in- Iniquity, Geralt discovered the nickname, Horse- nickname Horson was in fact an understatement. Something much stronger was needed to describe men who delighted in murdering captive women. In addition to blackmail, extortion, murder, and torture, the list of Horson's crimes also include trying to harm Siri. Geralt took this very personally and made the bandit pay for his last sin with his life. abso fucking lootly we did. So there we go. I think we have some bestiary stuff too that we need to go over just to make sure we have everything. So we have Indrega drones. Lazy good-for-nothing men are sometimes called drones. That's an insult to Indrega drones who at least get off their asses to fight. Arses to fight. Indrega males called drones are gluttonous creatures whose only aim in life is to eat, fight, and reproduce. Yet when venturing outside their nest, those aggressive hunters attack any and every creature they come across. Nice. Oh, that's all. I thought we had a little bit more, but... Cool, we do not. The sass in these notes. I know, right? That's why I love reading them, because they're always fun. The books are cool, the notes are cool, all that shit is always just cool. So, we are now done with these people. Oh, hi. We're just going to murder his whole clan to fuck your henchmen. I hear you. There we go. Oh, you suck. My dear man, I was right in front of you and you missed. You get to burn. There we go. See, it just feels so much more natural to fight as Geralt. There we go. Get some nice loot from these guys, a nice dumpling. Some crossbow bolts. I love me some dumpling. Oh, apparently there's somebody who's gonna cut my hair in here? Or is that like outside? That, that would make more sense if it was outside, but... So we got some action in here too. Killing some folk. Alright, let's get this last loot. So now we gotta talk to Priscilla about our talk with Horson Jr. Oh, Jesus. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. All right, I guess we're meeting with Radovid again. Well, goddamn. It's that time already, huh? Mess Oxenford Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. Nice boat. You need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Oh, I can't. I can't say no. I love to say no to these people when they tell me I have Ship to leave. Leave weapons. From noble women. 
I don't care. The most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Uh, I'm a homeless wanderer. What a dick. Can we walk a little faster, Mr. Redanian Guard? You got a little chubby there, bud. New marker. Oxen full at Furt Harbor. Nice. Alright, let's see what King Radovid wants now if he's going to talk about making chessmen and chess pieces bleed or whatever the fuck. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? Your Majesty. You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. Hmm. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. Okay. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Alive? Why is Philippa here? Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Maybe. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She Damn. was supple and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to help you, so why don't you ask some mages? Philip is using magic. He'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place <laughs> to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain witcher revealed that the lodge was behind the regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Okay, well, I guess we don't really have a choice, but... We got a bunch of other stuff to do, my man, so... Don't know if we're really going to be doing that anytime soon. Wait, quest completed? 